today. And uh, first of all, I would like to ask you about the sound. If uh, you hear me well, please write down pluses. Okay. Okay, thank you. So let's start. Um, today, Publishing House Permanent Creation starts uh, the introductory course on the training, the teachings of Grigori Grabovoy on salvation and harmonious development. And today, this is our first webinar uh, from this introductory course, and uh, the title of this webinar, Controlling Reality Through Perception. Uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Yelena. I'm a consultant of Publishing House Permanent Creation, which uh, disseminates the works written by Russian scientist Grigory Grabavoy on licensed base. Uh, first of all, um, uh, before giving the webinar, I would like to inform you about the questions we received and answer them. Um, right now online because uh, we think that it would be um, very useful for everybody. Uh, because when we share our understanding, when we share our questions, when we share our practice, uh, we enrich each other. So this question was about the two number sequences which were given to people in um, uh, somewhere to contact Grigory Grabavoy for assistance. One of these number sequences was his date of birth. And the question was which one is correct. Uh, so at the date of birth of Grigory Grabavoy, uh, this number sequence is universal and you can use it in different situations, for different situations. Um, for example, I like to use it when I want to uh, transfer the information of eternal life to the cells of my body, to the cells of somebody's body. And of course, you can use it uh, uh, to contact, uh, for spiritual contact with Grigory Grabavoy. But uh, uh, you can address to him mentally without using this number sequence too, uh, because as he told in his work Methods of Concentration in the abstract of 14th day, on this day you may feel this teaching about eternal life, my teaching, and apply to me in your mind. You may also apply to me on any other day and in any other state, and you can always Ask anything that you want for getting eternal life and universal creation. Apply to me and you will get help. It was the quotation from his book. But I would like to add uh, also that uh, you have to understand that it is necessary to work through macro salvation. And it's also, um, it's also very important to understand that you can't always get what you want, what you're asking for. The main thing is to explain to God uh, why you need it and uh, uh, whether the aims of uh, Maka Salvation, the aims of uh, uh, the tasks of Maka Salvation uh, coincide with your aims or your aims coincide uh, but, uh, with aims of uh, macro salvation. And uh, if your request concerns uh, of health improvement, uh, we have to understand that um, uh, it is directly um, related uh, to the level of development of your consciousness. Because uh, there are several diseases uh, we can uh, get rid of which only raising our level of consciousness. Uh, so we have to work very hard. Uh, we have to work very much for it. Um, everybody knows that um, in order to receive the diploma of, for example, engineer, uh, people study for four, five, 
or six years. And the teachings of Grigori Grabavoy, these are spiritual teachings, spiritual studies. Uh, so um, you need to develop a spirit level to such an extent when it becomes the uh, life-creating Holy Spirit so that it is able to build the body, the events, the relations, and so on. So it is big job. We are students of Grivody Brambavo like you. Maybe we have more experience, maybe we have more opportunities than you because um, we are able to read all his works in our native Russian language. And uh, we had opportunity uh, to attend his, uh, um, his uh, lecture sermons he gave in public. This is big advantage, of course, but we are working very hard every day. This is our everyday life. Uh, so I would like to add else that Grigori Grabavoy, through his teachings, gives us the road, not the fish. We have to study to catch fish ourselves. Next question was, uh, what is the shortest, most interesting and useful number you know from Grabavoy? There are a lot of number series from Grigori Grabavoy and all of them are useful. But as for me, I like to apply to use uh, one of the shortest his number series. Uh, this is 741. Only three numbers. 741. This is for normalization, for harmonization of any events. Um, the person... Uh, okay, I would like to add also that... Uh, uh, all his number sequences are aimed at uh, consciousness structuring. And structuring your consciousness, you normalize your life events, your health, and your relations. And the person who asked the question wondered what the most important number sequences Rabawai would give her to use every day. Um, the fact is, uh, every person and consequently uh, his consciousness changes every second. Uh, so Grigory Petrovich would be able to give you uh, one number sequence and sometime later he would be uh, able to give you another one because everything is changing very fast nowadays. Next question was what Grabovoy controls are the most important for spiritual development physical healing, uh, mental and emotional healing, and financial issues. I would like to say that uh, I would recommend everybody to read and to reread his fundamental works. Uh, these are uh, Resurrection of People and Eternal Life from Now On is Our Reality, um, then uh, Universal System of Knowledge and Applied Structures of uh, the creating field of information. In uh, Resurrection, Grigory Petrovich gives us the true picture of the world, the true world view. Uh, two other his works. These are the essences from his uh, doctoral dissertations, doctoral degrees. They are not easy to read in Russian too. They are difficult enough. But every time when we return to them, when we read them, we receive new knowledge. Uh, the new knowledge opens to us and we start to understand better his other works. It's uh, very important. They are very important. And um, I can say um, also that uh, you will understand in your practice, during your practice, when you concentrate on different your issues, on different your aims, um, uh, you will understand that all these questions, all these issues, financial issues, your health improving, uh, your relationship, emotional healing, and so on, all these questions, they are very interconnected. And uh, um, in the process of uh, uh, raising your level of consciousness, uh, they will improve. 
for example, if you can um, concentrate, you can focus on uh, the aim of uh, uh, your health improving and uh, your relationships start normalized too. Or, for example, you concentrate on the relationship with everybody and your financial issues um, starts to improve too. The, um, this is all interconnected. And um, in any way, all the technologies work only in positive way for the benefit of uh, all concerned. And the last question was how to pronounce number sequences. All the number sequences must be pronounced, uh, each number separately from another one. For example, the date of birth of the body probably, we have to pronounce like this, 1411963. Because um, behind each number, uh, there is a spiritual energy vibrational structure. And uh, that's what ensures their efficacy. The same is true of a sequence of numbers. Um, I think we will talk about uh, um, sequence of numbers uh, uh, in special way, maybe in one of our subsequent webinars. And right now, let's start our webinar, Controlling the Reality Through Perception. I will switch off the video in order to make the sound better and not to attract attention from the pictures, from the information. So, the only author of the thesis on salvation and harmonious development is the Russian scientist Grigory Grabovoy. The teachings of Grigory Grabovoy are registered in the Copyright Office of the Library of Congress USA, as well as legally protected by patents for inventions and trademarks. First, I would like to present the private opinion about the teachings on the whole of two famous Russian scientists. These are Doctor of Technical Sciences Vitaly Tikhaplov and Candidate of Technical Sciences Tatiana Tikhaplov. They are widely known in Russia for having written a series of popular science best-selling books about the various achievements of science in different fields of knowledge which prove the existence of God the Creator. As for me, I can see that I'm very grateful to this couple, to these two scientists, because I came to the teachings of Grigori Grabavoy through their books. In their comments, the whole essence of the teachings on salvation and harmonious development is reflected. Now, let's listen to them. You will be able to read the translation in subtitles. И мне хотелось поднять эту тему. Его технические разработки просто уникальны. Если в двух словах, в двух словах, то суть состоит в том, что Григорий Петрович представил всю Вселенную в виде информации. Он сказал, в мире нет ничего, кроме информации, которая организована в виде информационных объектов и информационных связей между всеми этими объектами. В сущности, это информационная система. А высочайшим, высочайшим уровнем развития информации является сознание. Так вот, сознание управляет всем без исключения, в мироздании. Все, любой информационный объект, начиная от элементарных частиц, атомов, молекул и так далее, имеет собственное сознание. Тот, кто научился управлять этим сознанием, он по существу управляет миром. 
Это первая основа. Кроме этого, Григорий Петрович счел нужным и необходимым, несмотря на наличие четких формулировок, что такое Бог, что такое божественная иерархия, он еще раз дал лекции специальные, в которых осветил вот все эти важнейшие категории. Вы можете понять по лекциям его о Боге и человеке, о Боге, о душе, о духе, о сознании, о информации, о любви и так далее. Их очень много. Для чего это сделано? В основе мироздания лежит Бог. И основания все божественную имеют основу. Вот это Григорий Петрович постоянно отражает в своем учении. Наконец, самая важная деталь учения Гробового, он сформулировал, Условия, при которых не обез... необходимо спасти все человечество и Землю от катастрофы глобальной. Это так и называется учение о спасении, о гармоничном развитии человечества. Равному по силе, по значению учения нет. И никто не выдвигал даже таких Учение. Труд прикладные структуры. In the video which is placed on the site of the publishing house Eminent Creation, uh, by the way, this video is the part of the introductory course of educational program two. So in this video I have already told about the fact that man is able by changing his consciousness and perception to change surrounding reality because according to Grigori Grabavoy's teachings the world consists of interconnected structures a change of one structure leads to a change in all structures of the world considering perception and consciousness as one of the structures of the world we can determine the laws of changes of the world depending on the changes in perception and consciousness Accepting the known and observable laws of the world as a function of static field of consciousness and perception, you can change the world by changing consciousness and perception. And also in this video lesson it was told about the fact that approximate simplified mode of the mechanism of the God's creation of reality according to the teachings of Grigori Grabavoy, is as follows. Soul, consciousness, physical body, and formation of all the external reality. In the soul there is information of the norm about everything, including our physical body and the outside reality as a whole, because our soul organizes the whole reality as well as it organizes our body that is we need to work with our consciousness to structure it so that in the information of the soul passing through consciousness formed the physical body and all the external reality without distortion in order to understand this information better we will define some key terms so man is a person comprised of soul, spirit, consciousness, and physical body, and he has connection with God. The soul, the spirit are spiritual structures. The physical body is matter. Consciousness is a structure that links a person's spiritual components with his physical body. Man's consciousness is a structure directly involved in the creation of physical reality. The structure which manifests, turns informational reality, man's thoughts, into physical reality. 
We can see that in consciousness, information becomes as if more dense and turns into matter. Perception. Perception in simplified understanding is an active part of the consciousness through which the reality is controlled. People become aware of any phenomena of reality through perception. The perception indeed can be achieved by different methods, for example, with the help of physical vision or sensations or mentally. Control is performance of certain spiritual acts due to which the events get harmonized, get normalized. They change for the better for all concerned. Physical reality is a material world which includes the objects of physical reality, such as planets, stars, objects of nature on planet Earth, people's physical bodies, man-made objects, and so on. Informational reality, all events of the informational level. We will need these key terms in the future. We will return to them repeatedly and use in the following webinars. Today, in the first part of our lesson, we will talk about perception, about what it is and how it is possible to affect physical reality through perception. In the second part, we will investigate one of the methods of control from one's consciousness on the example of the cure of diabetes. So, once again, perception in simplified understanding is an active part of the consciousness through which the reality is controlled. How is it happen? When we receive information, we somehow react on it. And we constantly receive information. We live in this process. We receive information and react on it. So, this process of reaction to information is the process of control. Because the creation of the next moment of reality depends on the fact of how we reached, reacted to the information. Besides, the time of control starts not from the moment of reaction, but from the moment of perception. If someone came to you and said that somewhere something happened and you got scared or believed and accepted the negative information that you heard, then you already missed a very important moment to control the situation. First, you also are able to normalize the situation, but it will take a long time. Grigory Probavoy says that if at the time of receiving information your perception is tuned in a certain way, then at the moment of perception the normalization happens, takes place, and you don't need to control the situation anymore. Everything is already normalized. That is, if at the time of receiving information you immediately said everything will be all right with certainty, confidently, that everything can be changed for the better, you already normalized the situation. It is possible to normalize everything you want. But a person can be sure in the fact that everything can be normalized only when he stands firmly on the base of the eternal life. This is an ideological platform of eternal life and resurrection. This is a world view. Only in this case, with such a world view, we can normalize <coughs> everything. When we start to understand and accept such a worldview, such an ideology, then we just develop the area of perception in such a form when it normalizes information at the moment of perception. This is the highest level of control. Grigori Grabavo used to tell about such a case in his practice 
It is an example of right reaction, right perception, an example of information regulation at the moment of its receipt. He was in the office when an airport dispatcher called him and told, Grigory Petrovich, the plane is falling. Help us. Grigory Petrovich told how he started to think. His first thought, information is transmitted wrongly. The plane is not falling. Everything is okay there, but there is a problem and we are going to solve it now. And then, when he told that everything was okay and the plane was not falling, he looks through the situation, turns on his consciousness, mends the situation through consciousness, the plane levels off, reaches the airport and lands. Everything is okay. A probable catastrophe is prevented. And then he has such a phrase. When I started checking the situation, everything was that way. The plane was not falling. People didn't understand some information in panic, in the thick of fear. That is, because of his reaction, the reality changed immediately, according to the system of universal connections, as we now understand. Let's read the quotation from the work by Grigory Grabavoy, Applied Structures of the Creating Field of Formation, once again. The world consists of interconnected structures. A change of one structure leads to a change in all structures of the world. Considering perception and consciousness as one of the structures of the world, we can determine the laws of changes of the world depending on the changes in perception and consciousness. Accepting the known and observable laws of the world as a function of static field of consciousness at perception, you can change the world by changing consciousness and perception. And a catastrophe was prevented. It is an example of right reaction. I'd like to draw a parallel here to remind you a case from the curative practice of Jesus Christ. It was described in Gospel of Luke, Gospel of Mark. Jesus was doing the same, that is, he had a right reaction to information from the very beginning and thus he was changing the reality. Let's have a look at a scene from the movie. It is just two minutes long. Jesus, please, I beg you to save my only daughter. Sir, have mercy. She's only 12 years old and, and dying. Please, please come with me. Jairus, I'm sorry. Jesus. Your daughter has died. Don't bother the teacher any longer. Don't be afraid. Only believe and she will be well. Do not weep. She's not dead, but only sleeping. Child, arrive. Give us something to eat. 
I charge you. Tell no one what has happened here. Pay attention to these control words, which changed reality then. The girl didn't die, but she is sleeping. It is the first reaction to information and an attempt to change collective consciousness. It wasn't shown in the movie that there were the words people laughed at. Gospel says so. That is why Jesus told everybody to go out, except only those his apostles who had steadfast faith, and the girl's parents, who, as any parents, loved their child and were hoping to miracle. That is faith, hope, love, and wisdom. That is right reaction to information from the very beginning. Now, I'd like to tell you a case from my friend's practice. She is the follower of Grigori Grabovoy's teachings. This case made a great impression on me when I first heard of it. And my friend was, in her turn, impressed by the case from Grigori Grabovoy's practice. It's the case with the dispatcher, the plane, and Grigori uh, Grabovoy's reaction. My friend, her name is Marina, she told uh, that when she read it, she was impressed very much. She read many times that if your uh, perception is tuned in a certain way, then at the moment of perception, the normalization happens. But when she read it maybe the hundredth time, she suddenly realized that the first reaction is very important at the moment of perception. So, as soon as she once again read it and understood it in uh, some minutes, her friend called her. So, her friend calls her and asks for help. Her friend says her that she is on the other side of the city that her mother just called her and said that her little son had been knocked down by a car. A car had knocked down her son, hit her son. And Marina's friend says she doesn't know what happened, uh, what happened there in details. By the way, when a person doesn't know what happened, it's very convenient to control unknown information. Because if you know details, so there is logical dependence and it's more difficult to control the situation. And Marina has just read about the case with an aircraft. And she repeated the same word. The information is wrong. The child was not knocked down by a car. Everything was much better and in general everything will be alright. Marina told that just logically and then she started to control the situation. What does it mean to control the situation? To hold maintaining control means hold the images of the result you would like to achieve and keep on saying the control words. An hour later, her friend phoned her and told, you know, the child was not knocked down. He wasn't hit by a car. The car only touched the child. He even wasn't thrown off. There was not any injury, just touching. Grandmother and the child were very frightened. So, when you start to verify the situation, everything was like this. The child was not knocked down. The information was wrong because of panic. Grandmother was very frightened. You know, I was impressed very much by this case. So, when we react correctly to the information, then, according to the system of universal relations, connections, all the reality changes. When I realized it, I remembered the phrase of Grigory Petrovich written in the book Resurrection of People and Eternal Life from Now On is Our Reality. The phrase is approximately as follows. Our physical reality is much more fantastic in fact than it is described in the most fantastic novels. When we get used to such kind of thinking, it starts to be our everyday life.
for example, I can share my own experience. Maybe this case is not so bright as my friend's case, but I have such an experience. Approximately one month ago, my granddaughter fell down in the street and hit her head against the asphalt the pavement. The impact was very powerful. Luckily, it was close to home. My daughter immediately took her into her arms and we ran home. As we were taking the lift up home, right before my eyes the huge bump grew bigger and bigger and became bloodshot. I could only recall remember 741 and repeated the word macro salvation. So macro salvation 741, macro salvation 741. And I immediately told to my daughter that there won't be any concussion of the brain. When we came home, I took the number series from the book of the restoration of the human body by focusing on the number road. I took injury and started mentally to pronounce it and mentally enter this number sequence into the forehead of a child. All this time, after the falling down of the child, my daughter was looking at me with fear. And I didn't stop to tell her, to repeat her, that there won't be any concussion of the brain. Within a minute, the bump decreased on my eyes. Ambulance came, and the doctor said 50-50 about the concussion of the brain. Maybe it will be, maybe it won't be. He told to watch the kid, her behavior. We were watching her during that day. The behavior was usual and we didn't have to visit any doctors. There was bruise on the forehead during several days, and then it disappeared. This is the case from our everyday life, when we can get evidence of the fact that our right reaction for the information and control words, control spiritual actions, can normalize the situation. So, our perception, at the moment of receiving information is very important. That's why we start working, forming structure of own consciousness and learning methods of reality control from our own consciousness. We have already heard today that Vigori Petrovich Krabavoy represented the whole world, the whole universe, in the form of information, information objects and information connections between these objects. That is, everything is information. So any event is also information, which can be represented as a form. And today we are going to look into one of control methods. In this control method, the work is carried out with the help of one of optic forms in the form of number 8. This control method was given by Grigory Grabavoy on April 16, 2002 in the lecture Adaptability of Definite Control Positions at the Expense of Structure Formation of Own Consciousness. So, imagine number 8 in vertical form in the area of your perception. You can move this number 8 in the area of your perception near physical body and find the point of the highest activation, for example, near the heart, at the distance of 20 centimeters. Upper part of number 8 is an organization of eternal level of control. Here, all knowledge of the Creator is and here we set a global goal, marker salvation. The lower part of number 8 is a level of specific tasks. That is, in the lower part of 8, you look at, imagine events you want to receive. And now, in the frames of these events, we distinguish main positions of the events. See number 1. Information about macro salvation, macro regulation, and eternal harmonious development is placed here. So, sphere number one and upper part of number eight, they are similar. Sphere number two, 
a number of events that lead to your event, for example, a number of meetings. Sphere number three. Information about event completion is here. For example, harmonious transaction settlement, if we talk about business. Any events can be placed into this scheme by reducing them up to three notions. Beginning of action, middle of action, and the end, the result. These three spheres are rigidly fixed. They don't move. We don't have to move them. And just in case, we add two spheres above, number four and number five, for action development. These spheres, four and five, can be movable. Situation control is that the first three spheres and the number eight are fixed, and spheres number four and five can be moved. And by simply moving four inside this circle, you make control. And during practice, we can see how process of connection with macro level is developed. That is, moving four, we can see the light which goes from macrosphere, from the upper part of eight, which is the macro salvation, and from sphere number one, in the lower part of eight which is macro salvation 2. From my level of understanding, my level of perception, what happens here? When in the area of our perception we move the fourth and the fifth sphere in lower part of it, we simultaneously watch how light distributes. Upper part of eight from the beginning is of silver white or golden color. Moving fourth and fifth sphere, we can see how light inside lower part of eight changes. How connections between spheres distribute. And as soon the third sphere completion of event lightens with silver white color, control has taken place. Then Grigory Petrovich gives an example of use of this system for curing from diabetes. First of all, I will tell you about the technology itself once again, and then we'll work together in online mode. By the way, you can work both with yourself, for example, for preventive purposes, to prevent this unpleasant disease, or set the goal to cure from diabetes any friend. Again, we take it and place it in the area of our perception in relation to your left shoulder. There is sphere 1, macrosphere, sphere of macro regulation in lower part of A. It stays unchanged. Sphere 2 is the task to cure diabetes. We put here task of regulation, that is regulation of liquid phase of cell, from which man then cures from diabetes. Sphere number 3. Man is cured. He or she is in good health. Sphere number 4. Event environment of man. Sphere number five, cell composition. Sphere number four and five, mm, this is the system of access to information. Now, let's read the quotation from the lecture. Let's concentrate attention on four. You can see cell composition open and it is clear what shall be regulated for example in cell composition or the amount of let's say liquid phase which shall be regulated simply in any specific cell it's not necessary to look into morphology of cell it is clear that there is more liquid here than necessary you percept it simply as information it is the system of access to information the end of quotation. But what shall we do with you? 
if we still don't have an ability of clairvoyance as much so that to see cell composition and regulate in specific cell amount of liquid phase. From my level of perception, we start moving the fourth and the fifth spheres in lower part of eight and watch brightness of spheres light connection between them. For example, sphere number five, sphere number four and sphere number five. We can move this sphere. It can touch sphere number one, two, three. When it touches sphere number one, it receives the impulse, uh, light impulse from here because um, sphere number one, this is sphere of macro salvation. We can move this sphere number four here to this point, uh, and you can receive, uh, sphere number four can receive uh, light impulse here too because the upper part of number eight is macro salvation too. And then sphere number four can touch sphere number two and three and transmit this light there. The same is for sphere number five. So working like this, you have to lighten sphere number three, number two and number three. So now let's do it right now in online mode. That is, each of you can work with certain person, curing him or her from diabetes, or work with yourself for preventive purposes. Uh, you have to to say to to set the aim. Uh, the concrete person, for example, Peter Smith, is cured from diabetes, and uh, this task, this aim, uh, must be set into the sphere number three. Peter Smith, for example, is cured from diabetes. So now we are doing all, it all together. I will repeat once again. We took eight and placed it in our imagination approximately in 20 centimeters from our left shoulder at the level of heart. Upper part of eight all knowledge of the Creator is here, and it is a sphere of macro salvation. In lower part of it, we place the level of certain tasks. Right now, we work to cure from diabetes. You are imagining a person for whom you will make spiritual actions to cure him or her from diabetes. So again, there is sphere one in lower part of eight, a sphere of macro salvation. It is of silver white or golden color from the beginning. Sphere number two is the task to cure diabetes. In this sphere, liquid phase or a cell of a cell is regulated from which man then cures from diabetes. Sphere number three, man is cured. Peter is cured from diabetes. That is, it is the final result. Above these spheres, which are fixed, spheres 1, 2, 3 are fixed. Above them, we place, we are placing spheres number 4 and 5. Sphere 4 is event environment of man of Peter, and sphere number 5 is cell composition. We move spheres 4 and 5 and watch the change of brightness of their light. We achieve a steady light of spheres 2 and 3. As soon as sphere 3 becomes silver white, the control has worked. Now, let's work all together.
Thank you very much. From my level of perception, uh, CN number three is now of silver white color, very bright. Now, now, after uh, CA number three lightens, we have to transfer this information about the done work into collective consciousness, so that through the system system of universal connections, this information can be distributed and diabetes would simply disappear from collective consciousness and consequently the disease itself. We all know that, for example, 30 years ago we didn't have such a disease, such a notion as cellulite, for example, because this information, um, we, we know nothing about, about this notion. And nowadays many people find the size of cellulite uh, because uh, this information nowadays is widely spread in collective consciousness. We are all closely connected with each other like the cells of a single organism. So changing something in ourselves or helping certain men, we, according to the system of universal connections, forward, transmit, disseminate this information. Thus slowly changing collective consciousness. Remember the effect of the hundredth monkey I was talking about in the small video in the small video which is placed on the site of publishing house permanent creation. However, it doesn't always mean that it will be enough to work once to cure somebody from diabetes, which was taken here as an example. We all have different speed of information perception, different level of readiness to accept changes. So this work must be kept repeated to bring this information to the norm and prepare so that our consciousness being ready to accept such a norm. So amount of time spent for this work will be individual. This is the answer for the question of of Eva. So amount of time spent for this work will be individual. Probably there are people for whom one or two times will be enough. Anyway, I think we should strive to such speed. I think that when faith is strong enough, it will be enough to work once. As an association, I recall the case type in Bible. When a woman, when Jesus was in the crowd, touched the Savior's dress with faith in curing and was cured at that moment. Jesus felt that strength went out of him and asked who touched him. When the woman confessed, told her, your faith saved you. That is, whatever we do to receive the result, whichever methods we use, the most important is positive thinking and or faith. When it becomes a habit, then our usual thinking becomes controlling, that is, very concentrated, and then it goes to physical level, just like the Creator is yes? thought instead. Again, we we'll learn to act as the creator. We will talk about this. This is very important principle to act as the creator does. We will talk about this in our subsequent webinar. After we worked inside eight with the spheres and lighted spheres two and three, that is completed our task on information level, regulated the information, it means that we concentrated the structure of health in one local point of information. This is the quotation from the lecture. It means 
that you concentrate structure of health in one local point of information. From the point of view of universal connections, you really correct collective reality so that he or she becomes healthy. It is as if the second action in control, and the first action is that you really control at the expense that as soon as you find basic mechanism of regulation, for example, of a liquid phase, or let's say rigid phase inside the cell, you can forward, transmit, disseminate this information according to the system of universal connections to all cell elements inside the body. It turns out that you work in this case not even with certain cell, but simply work with diagnosis itself. And when you make such an action, stability appears. That is, sphere of recovery, here the third point, it simply starts shining. That is, you can see that you made necessary action at the given period of time. Number three becomes shining. The number itself, it simply because becomes apparent immediately. So, you made a control on, for example, treatment of diabetes. In the end of our meeting, I would like to say that the most important thing is practice. You have to practice these technologies yourself. And not only to practice the technologies, but constantly read Grigory Krabavoy's works. Because the information he gives in his works is multidimensional. I can say about myself and about my friends, though we have been reading and rereading Grigory Grabavoy's books for many years, every time we find there something new, new understanding, new thoughts, and this process is endless. You have to work hard yourself. Nevertheless, we are waiting for your questions. When you start using the technologies, you will have questions, and you will be able to ask them. Please send the questions in advance in order to have your question answered during the subsequent webinar. So, thank you very much for your attention. for your participation, for your work. And uh, you can read the information about our subsequent webinars on our site, which is uh, in front of you right now, permanentcreation.com. And you can address your questions uh, to our site, to the site of our publishing house. And now I say goodbye to you all. Thank you. See you next time.